Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Troy Woods and I am a professional photographer located in Washington, DC. And as you can see in front of me, I have a really large bag. And so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna review the Think Tank Photo Production Manager 50, which is this bag right here. Now, like I've told people over the years, um, I've never been a photographer that's just gone out, maxed out credit cards and bought a whole bunch of gear. Rather, everything that I have in my kit, I actually use on a daily basis for my clients. That was no different when it came to actually transporting our gear on location. So uh, one of the reasons why we went to this is because um, over the years, we're at a point in our business now where over 50% of our work is on location with clients, which means we're outside of the studio, we're transporting gear back and forth. Even with my bags, I had a lot of different bags. I'm managing light stands, strobes, everything that goes on with doing a photo shoot on location. And it just got to the point, it was just too much to manage. Some of our higher end clients, uh, we take a small team in, so I actually have a system in place. It could happen with one or two people at the most. For years, I've been using the Airport International. It's protected my camera gear, my lenses. Uh, with, with no issues at all. And that's one of the things I love about Think Tank products. Their build quality to me is like best in the industry when it comes to gear protection and transportation. So this bag here, and I'm not gonna give you guys or bore you guys with a lot of different stats or different things when it comes to this bag, but I will tell you, because I know a lot of people are wondering just how big this bag is. This bag is 17.3 inches wide. It's 53.1 inches in height. That's if you stand it up, uh, top to bottom and it's 12.6 inches deep. That means the pockets that are actually in the bag. So let's go ahead and open up the bag. One of the things, let's talk about the outside really quick though. There's a huge pocket that you can see on the outside, which you can put anything in here. I wouldn't say put a laptop in here simply because this bag is really heavy now. Everything that we would normally use on location is pretty much in this bag. I had to pull out some secondary gear for our lights and different things like that to make this video. But a lot of our normal gear is actually in this bag, so the bag is pretty heavy. So I don't know if I would do anything with putting uh, like viable like laptops and everything uh, in this pocket, but paperwork, modifiers, uh, different things, you can actually slide umbrellas in here. But just this is a nice big pocket that's actually on the front of the bag. So let's go ahead and take a look inside the bag so you can see what I have in here so far. All right, so we're gonna start here um, on the top of the bag here. This is actually the handle of the bag. Um, I have my business card in here uh, just for identity purposes, so I have that here. Also, this zipper right here um, is where you can tuck in this cable mechanism. Uh, this is a lock, so if we're transporting this uh, over someplace public, and I can actually get another lock to put on here, which I'll probably do um, so when we're not traveling with an airplane, on an airplane. But if I'm throwing this in the back of a truck or something like that, I can lock this actually to the truck, so this is really good. So this pocket, actually, you can tuck the cable inside of that pocket. And if we move around the bag here, these are some of the loops that are here. There's uh, Velcro on the inside of that, which is, is, is great. You can do a variety of different things, tie different straps to hold things to the bag. This heavy duty handle, you guys can see the, the build quality here. I mean, their, their, their build quality is just um, absolutely phenomenal. And this is actually a pocket here as well where you can tuck like i said if you can't fit um, umbrellas or anything into the inside of the bag you can actually tuck them here as well and then actually if the umbrellas are running up along the side here you can put little straps and everything in here just to fix it to the bag and one of the things i love about the bag too when you're dealing with a bag that's this big um, it carries a lot of weight you want to make sure that your wheels um, can actually do the job and so these wheels here are incredible again all this is this is plastic around here but this is metal um, you see these wheels are impact um, impact absorbent wheels i guess is what you can call it so you can take the impact and load from the bag and as you come around um, again when you're standing the bag up tall you have the wheels and then you have these notches here which balance everything out. And again, guys, this is not a cheap build. It's, it's really solid. Another handle here for you to actually lift the bag up. And if you come around on this side, it's the same as the other side where you have the loops here, another pocket. And again, you can tuck things in this pocket, run it up along the bag, and then 
put some securing uh, loops or whatever here to attach it to the bag. Here is the zipper that we were talking about, which runs along the entire top of the bag. You can see in there how deep that is. All right, so let's go look inside the bag. All right, guys, so here's how I have my bag configured right now. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here. So I kind of go over when I got the bag, one of the things that I did was I, I, I kept their basic formation, but then I tweaked it a little bit to how I needed it. So right now I've added these pockets here. And one thing I love about their products, they give you so many extra dividers so that you can kind of configure the bag exactly how you want. So right here, um, I'm gonna be getting a, a fourth strobe here soon. So that's gonna actually be here. Um, so I have my, my strobes tucked inside the pockets here, put that back in there. Um, right here, so that's three. I'm gonna add for my fourth. Um, I just threw this in here so you guys can see the versatility of it. So a lot of times I use clamps when I'm putting up my backdrops uh, to keep the paper from rolling. So I dropped those here. This is just, um, this actually came with it for free. Uh, Think Tank does great and give you a lot of extra goodies when you purchase their products. Uh, this is what's really important to me, guys. I have two sets of stands in here. This bag right now, as it's configured, there are two complete C stands in here as well as two light stands, heavy duty light stands like this. So I broke the C stands down so you can see I have the C stands here, the tubes here, and the legs are actually here. I'm gonna be adding two more C stands to this kit and I have them here and as you can see it's, it's flush so I can actually close the lid, there's nothing protruding. This is where having those deep pockets um, come in. Like I said, it's about 12 inches deep right there. So this is where you, your gear is actually protected and you can fit a lot of different things in here that you normally wouldn't be able to fit into a bag. Um, again, this is a pocket I'm using. Um, some extra pieces to go with the C-stand here. And I actually, these are my grids for my soft boxes. Now I don't have my, my, mod, my light modifiers in here because I have a lot of big heavy gear in here and I didn't want to put those in here. But I do have the, um, but I do have the grids for those in here. And what I did was I put my grids in a two gallon Ziploc bag. And the main reason I did that is because there is Velcro um, on these grids to actually, you know, you hold them to your light modifier. But when you stick the grids in the pockets without being in something like this, the Velcro can kind of stick to this and it just makes it tough to stick in a pocket. So. I have my grids in these two gallon Ziploc bags and it works perfect. So this is overall the bag itself. Like I said, it's, I have my cables here um, for my strobes, extension cables. And like I said, it's so much room to add even more stuff. I'm not even utilizing all the pockets that are up here, but I, I will be, we just got this bag in a couple days ago. So I went ahead and just kind of put it together so we could have something for the video so you guys could see. Also, it's kind of a raincoat for the bag, so if you're out in bad weather, it comes with this. So you can protect everything that's in the bag as well as the bag itself. This opens up, you pull this out and just put it around the bag, which is it's really thoughtful. Um, and again, these are just regular seven inch reflectors that we have tucked in here. All right, so this is the Think Tank Photo Production Manager 50. Let's go ahead and close it back up. I like these straps here, it's real thoughtful. So when you open this up, the lid doesn't fall all the way back. Close it on up. And get that tucked in there. All right. So there you have it. This is the Think Tank Photo Production Manager 50. An absolutely incredible bag. Um, I'm looking forward to this actually enhancing my own location workflow. Even when we're here in the home studio, it's something I can just have down and open and actually work out of this bag. If you're interested in looking at this bag or any of the 
other many bags that Think Tank Photo offers. There is a link somewhere around this video. Just click on the link, it'll take you uh, to this site where you can see it for yourself. Whether you're somebody like me that's been a professional photographer now for many years or you're just getting started in your journey, maybe you have a camera body, a flash, and a lens, and you just wanna get started, they have a bag for you. Definitely check them out. So until the next video, you guys be good. Take care.